There's major concern about a troubling new trend. Three flights forced to evacuate Sunday because of threats made online. Five flights in total search over the weekend. And ABC's Tom Yamas has that story for us. Overnight, three planes evacuated at two major airline hubs. The FBI investigating an Orlando-bound Delta aircraft from Los Angeles, diverted to Dallas-Fort Worth after receiving an internet-based threat. 179 passengers and eight crew members forced off the plane to undergo inspection. It got scary because there's Wi-Fi on the plane. We hadn't been told, but we knew what was going on. Also Sunday, two commercial planes evacuated and searched at Seattle's International Airport. Again, more threats. All flights searched, all flights cleared, apparent hoaxes. We landed on the runway and immediately stopped. And then when the captain came on speaker and told us that there had been a threat specific to our own flight. All this after two flights, one Delta, one Southwest, searched on Saturday following a series of threatening messages on social media. Two F-16 fighters scrambled. Atlantis International Airport nearly shut down. You could look out the window and see people with machine guns and people with all sorts of uh, threatening things, bomb sniffing dogs. On Saturday, a message on Twitter. Someone tweeting at Delta Assist, I have a bomb on one of your planes, but I forgot which one when I left the airport. Can you help me find it? These threats are invariably hoaxes. Real terrorists don't typically give a heads up. Now, the FBI is looking into the threats, but at last check, still no arrests. And though these are so far all hoaxes, there's nothing funny about the prison time if convicted. Guys, up to 20 years behind bars if they catch you. Nothing funny about it at all. Yeah. All right, Tom, you can't play you. around with this stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom.